everyone welcome back to channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to talk about sql server error log couple of points okay so this today session will help you to you know all the freshers we were just join uh, as a sql db roles which can help you a lot okay so uh, before starting the session i uh, i would suggest please visit the channel playlist sql server dba more than 160 videos which can help you all day to day activities okay and if you are getting help you can you know contribute with uh, youtube thanks okay uh, how we can do that i i will play just one video and i will see let's assume uh, if you go to channel tech and art or okay and if you click on any videos okay so here you can see in a in a bottom side uh, you can see the thanks okay so by clicking the thanks contribution you can give the contribution as well okay so if you feel uh, to share the thanks you can do uh, with the thanks button okay so let me start the today session and agenda why i am going to discuss with this okay uh, so uh, basically uh, it's an uh, you know uh, interview question also i have you know seen couple of times normally they are asking just, just that um, basically interviewer going to test your uh, skills if the sql server instance is you know uh, offline or it's not getting started okay so how you can you know figure out the error logs this is the valid question actually if you are not able to start the sql server instance so how in that situation how you can read the error logs okay so for that straight forward answer is you need to go to the particular instance root directory and from there you can read the error logs how it is i will tell you so for a particular instance you need to aware where it is configured your instance root directory normally by default under c programs okay but it depends on the projects uh, you know defined uh, directories uh, based on that so in my lab setup i have covered uh, i kept in uh, inside the you know uh, my this location okay the ddk setup new labs under that you can go to the particular instance root directory ms sql and logs and from here you can read the error logs okay by clicking the text you can see easily we can see the logs error logs so if your instance is not getting started you can check the error through this method you can read the error logs what is the issue and you can figure out the starting the troubleshoot so this is one of the method okay to read the error log this is valid questions normally i have seen it's asked lot of interview question during the initial phase uh, like 2 3 year experience guys interviewer is asking if your sql server instance is not getting a start okay so how you will figure out the error log how to troubleshoot it okay you will say i will check the error logs how come your instance is not starting right so in that situation how come you read the error logs so through this way you can go to that so where whenever uh, wherever the instance root directory is installed to go to that location and from there you can read the error log text file okay now the second question how many methods to read the error logs okay so one of the method is through the gui go to the sql server agent and you can expand the error logs and you can right click uh, you can click on error logs current error logs okay and you can read the error logs this is the one of the method which all aware actually how to read the error logs okay now second method is you know uh, this command i want to just share you uh, the second method is xp underscore read error logs you can you can read error logs here also through the xp command okay so whatever the error logs you can read it and if you want to take it in excel you can copy with header and you can take it in excel you can to share to someone else also if it is required sometimes we have we need to share the error logs in excel format so through this way xp underscore read error logs you can copy with headers and you can paste it in excel file and you can share to someone else also and this command is basically it's helping you to figure out the where the root you know where the error log is go, uh, going to be uh, for a particular instance okay so if you execute this command it will give you the directory of the error logs this command also will helping to find out the 
where it is going to place. If any particular instance you want to check, if you are not aware, newly you join and you are not aware, uh, or let's say the instance lab01, uh, where the error log is going to install, or going to um, capture. So through this, uh, with the help of this command, you can figure out the directory of the error logs. Okay. So a couple of points which is really helpful, I just want to share with you guys. Okay. So as I told you, if you are getting help, please do the thanks contribution. Okay. So that's it for today. Just a small effort, but it's really helpful. I will meet you very soon. Till then, bye bye. Thank you.